Good day, good day, and welcome to another episode in the Witcher series on why is my health like that? Let's get that sorted quickly. Um, last episode we did a little bit of the main mission, um, and we investigated uh, Velen, which, um, to be quite frank, is a bit of a shithole, um, but I think it's meant to be. Um, we also uncovered there were a lot of things to do, um, because the map is massive, uh, and this episode I'm definitely going to just think about doing local things. We stumbled across these two things, a quest, and um, a person in distress close to a question mark. So these things we'll be doing first, obviously the main mission we can address um, very soon, quite low leveled abilities. But I'm going to start doing some side missions, looking into um, basically removing all of these unknown locations. And doing things by proximity, not by what we get. I have received a quest that is over here. I'm not going to be doing that quest. I'm going to branch out until we end up over there. And as a little sub-objective, we need to get to a city. Um, a city will definitely have a general store. Um, her dresses for customization. Um, we might be able to do uh, horse racing as advertised in the trailer. Uh, brawling and fighting in, in fight pits or fight clubs, if you will. And also, we need the blacksmith as well for any materials and selling weapons that are quite weighty. So without further ado, let's head over to uh, the question mark over here. Oh, good lord, it's rainy. Let's keep going. So when we arrived here, something was kicking off. There was a lot of stuff going on around here. Um, people fleeing in terror. Interestingly, there's witch hunters and all sorts around here. So the quest giver is here. Transit passes at terrific prices. A shady merchant. Interest you in a pass? Cheapest around, right here. A pass. What are they exactly? What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. Okay, so but they're blocking the path that, that leads so to Novograd potentially, seeing as this is facing north. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. <laughs> what am I to do if you can't afford it? Uh can you go any lower? No deal. Whoa, 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 hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? Okay. Uh, what kind of work? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. Tidy up battlefields, okay. Fields. Problem is, there's always... Oh, I've got to cover them while they're attacked. I've done this sort of mission before. The missing in action quest. Beautiful discount. Ooh, requires delusion level one. Maybe there's another way to do this. Um. Okay, I think it right. over. See what I can do. Fake papers. See what the counterfeit past seller's brother-in-law needs. Let's go to the quests. Doesn't have a recommended level. Um. Okay, I'll come back to that. Um, I would rather be absolutely kitted out before I delve into doing anything like that immediately, particularly if I'm covering somebody because you can actually fail quests on this. Um, so I'd rather not allow that to happen. Let's head up the road to this um, distressed individual who's round here. Level 9 deserters. Can I take these guys on? Ah, okay, this is good because I'm aggroing the deserter leader. Let's lead him away from the remaining men so that I don't aggro them. I can take one at a time. Oh, an instant kill just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Here comes another one. Woof! Oh, I got him. Impaled him while he was on the floor. Sweet. A cage key. That must be for the person in distress. A razor and a mace. I can sell those. Whoa. Oh, 
God, that's so easy to get the instant kill. And again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so broken that you can just do that. Particularly if you're clever and you aggro enemies individually. It's really helped um, the situation. Okay. That guy's got a bow. I need to move fast. Go on, change to your sword. Wear down his stamina with repeated attacks. Keep our distance. Going for a heavy. That's him down. Nice. No big rad long sword. There's another enemy over there, but it looks like he's strayed. Can I open the door quickly? Look from your store by the bridge across the pond. Cross the pond target. Goods for the army. Okay, so if you free people, it looks like you get discounts from stalls. An unsent letter. Um, let's see what this is all about then. I really need to get rid of some things quite soon. Unsent letter. Remember when you said Isbor, don't you go robbing folk? The gods don't like it, and besides, only refugees on the roads these days, and they're even poorer than us. How you were cross that I shirked, how you were cross that I shirked working in the fields and didn't bring a scrap home to put in the pot. Well, you are going to have to eat these words, my dear. Gobble them all up with a hearty slice of humble pines and baked crow on the side. This guy is very uh, elaborate. Yesterday we were cornered. We cornered this merchant and not the Gauls Velen or Brenneman, but from Nilfgaard itself, you see. From the city of Golden Towers, didn't speak much common, but enough so as we could understand each other. This guy's obviously illiterate. He said he was carrying some goods to the Black One's camp. We took everything he had, and I'm telling you, Helky dearest, you've never seen so many crowns in your life, nor could you ever hope to count that high. Now we're going to rough him up a bit more to make sure he hasn't hid some of his gold. Once we cut off his thumbs, he'll spill the beans about any extra treats stashed in the soles of his boots. And once Mirko scolds him a bit, he'll tell us about the precious stones he's got sewn in the feed bag. Might tell us a great m many such things of interest. In fact, you never know just what till you try. Till the young uns, Dad's going to be home soon, that he'll bring them toys and treats and they'll eat so many honey cakes that tummy's going to burst for you, Helky. I'll bring myself a necklace and a brooch because while you can be awful cruel at times, I still love, love you, you naughty bint. But yes, throw on that night shirt, shirt with the lace and red beads for my arrival and colour up your kisser somewhat. Right, okay, what a charming fellow. I think that's the point when you read back some of these things, despite the fact they're bandits, their intentions are quite um, honest. So maybe there's some loot around here of some form, um, with some decent things. Is there any loot around here? There's a chest over there, let's have a look what's in here. Cutlass oil, assassin's boots, that's interesting. A uh, steel ingot, I need a silver one I believe for uh, crafting the sword. I know we're doing. Is there anything out here? Plenty of loot. Sheepskin. 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 Okay. That might sell for a fair bit. Anything I can loot here? Alchemy paste. Um, there's a plant over here. Apparently. Is there? Okay, apparently there is, but I can't see it. I'm guessing it's glitched of some form. Just make sure I've got everything from this area. It's terribly dark, but as I say... Oh, I'm stuck in the branches. Um, as I say, I'm going to try and keep things diverse if I can help it. You know, sometimes we're going to be playing at the usual time, which is in the morning. Sometimes we'll be playing, you know, late at night when it's dark. We're going to try and get a lot of variety going in here, so then we've always got something different to do. So we found those things. Um, there's a general goods guy down here. Let's head down to this location over here and see what we can find. Um, when it gets to 9am, I will uh, change the time and uh, make it so then I can see a bit more. I'm struggling to see as it is. Let's cross this bridge. And there's some various things that have fallen down there. 
a monster Dene. Let's cast Quen. Get Igni at the ready. Whoa, a Necker. What the hell? Whoa. They're kind of like ghouls, I guess. They travel in packs of some form. Oh, I had a bit of frame rate issues there. Got the Necker Warrior, I'm guessing he's the problem. You'll be the big bag. Oh, Christ. Okay. Need to cast Quen again. Ah, so you can block these guys. Cast Quen. That guy over there he seems to have like clicked at some point, or maybe he's just in shock, I don't know. Cast Axe, he seems as it's one on his own. Wow, that was glitchy. Okay, we, we sorted them out. They were a little bit wily, but I think I need to get used to the movements of enemies. You need to know um, and be able to read them. What is it called? Telegraphing um, the moves, essentially. It's what you need to be looking out for. Wait, where's the monster's nest? Is it in there? Okay. It's fast travel. I shut down this monster's nest. Not fast travel, fast forward the time. Okay, it's really quite dark in here. Is there anything I can do about that? Um, because I remember right at the very beginning of the game, somebody pointed this out to me recently. Um, I had a torch available to me. Um, I don't know what it would be under. The under quest items? No. Usable items? No, I guess not. Equipment? Okay, I, I, I really don't know where it is. Maybe I don't have one. I thought I did. Let's just delve into it. All we can do is take our time. Cash Quen now. Get his knee at the ready. Neckers again. Is it more than one Necker Warrior? Yeah, it is. This is going to be hard. That's Quen again when we can. Okay, this is good. We've aggroed the attention of one Necker individually. We can just lay into him. He had, like, glitched behind the rock then. He was completely stuck. We'll cast Yurden, actually, because Yurden will get them within a vicinity. And we'll be able to trap them, hopefully. I broke my shield, bastard. Got that guy. They keep glitching behind that rock. Ah, damn. That's my magic at the wrong time. If you attack Neckers individually, they're actually quite easy to deal with. That slowed his movement. Yeah, Yurden's quite effective against multiple enemies, particularly because of the... There's an enemy somewhere. What the? Okay, you all saw it. Necker warriors are a little bit harder, as you would expect. Got him. I'm gonna lay into him for a little bit. There we go, okay. I was thinking I'd need to cast Quen again, but clearly not. Um, do we get anything of interest on the Necker warriors? Get the liver of them? I don't know whether that's of any use to us. So, was that the monster nest? Do I not need to blow anything up? Because obviously on the previous monster nest, the ghouls ones, I had to blow blow bits and pieces up. Oh, there's a loot chest there. Manuscript. Florence. And an army repair kit. What's that? Another chest. Lots of diagrams that I'm unlocking here. Which is no bad thing, really. Just grab all of these things here. Necker claws. I don't think I've got many of those because they're new uh, enemies or ads or whatever you want to call them. I really couldn't see much in there, so I think it's time to leave. It's still raining. Holy crap. Velen just doesn't let up. It's a really dark, um, eerie place. It's not at all like White Orchard, you know, which had its days, but um, wasn't like this by any means. Okay, next area that we need to go to, let's 
let's see what this is. This looks like a complex of some form, maybe a town or village. Um, it's this way. You know what? I'm going to wait again. I really... First of all, let me have a quick look at the Neckers. Take heed, gents. There's Neckers under this here bridge. If you all cross at once without slowing or stopping, there's nothing to fear. But if your cart throws an axle and you get stuck out there, well, close your eyes and pray to Melitel. A lone Necker is harmless. Five are dangerous. Ten can kill even a veteran monster slayer. Particularly troublesome are the larger, stronger individuals known as warriors, as well as the rare breed of Neckers known as Fosas or Focas. Northern Wind Bomb and Ogrud Oil, neither of which I have. I'll have to get onto them because Neckers have been quite regular. Let me have a look at what we can find. We don't have the bomb available to us. Do we have the oil? No, we don't have the oil either. We need to find the ingredients to make said oil and said bomb or else I'm screwed. Let's make time go past because I really want it to be um, brighter. Let's bring it to 1pm and see if the rain passes. Mm. Lightly. Okay, let's let's go again. Fool's parsley. We'll grab all of these. I'm gonna run quite a bit of this. Not all of it, but I'm gonna run quite a bit of this. I want to pick up some brand new herbs that are obviously within the local area, like that. Um, I also want to stay on my toes because there are a lot of enemies that I'm coming across like the ones in front. Luckily the wild dogs and wolves, I can deal with these. However, there's a lot of them. There's no question there. I mistimed my evade there. It needs to be more. There we go. That's well timed. Get him with the fire attack. Cast quite immediately. We don't need any more dog tallows. We've got enough. Keep my distance from him. I wonder if the crossbow will come in handy against these guys. Let's keep the crossbow handy in case it does. Well, I handled them quite well. You basically pace your attacks and don't spam whatever happens. At least the rain seems to have passed mostly. It's kind of light drizzle. Look at the clouds, though. Man, it's heavy here. It's really heavy. For some reason, my controller vibrated then quite a lot. There's a red dot over here. I'm just intrigued. A ghoul. Just a lone ghoul? Okay, there's two of them. It's alright, we'll leave them alone. We don't need to fight them. Ah, the sun's coming out. Fantastic. See, when you get the sun in Valen, it looks a lot better, but it's obviously very war. Um, you know, it's, it's it's been destroyed by war. Look at that fog over there. I can see knackers in the distance and all sorts. This is a very, very dangerous place for anybody to be. The Devil's Pit. Was that a... Can I read these? I can. Oh. By the authority of Imperial Decree 725, issued by the Nilfgaardian Court Martial, these individuals have been found guilty of treason and spying on behalf of Redania. They have been sentenced to death by hanging... Looks like um, this game is very much people fighting for power, you know, so um, Redania obviously owned Velen because it's an obviously, it's a, a warm place, it's vulnerable for influence, so they're the, I don't know what they're all about though, and then you've got the Nilfgaardians and the Temerians or Valerians, I can't, I can't even remember, no, Valerian I'm thinking Game of Thrones. Um, can I go in here? Oh god. This is a bandit camp of some form. Or are these guys friendly? No, they're not friendly. They've got red dots. Right, I need to cast Quen. Let's get Axie at the ready. Actually, no, let's get Yerdin by the ready. There's quite a lot of them. So we'll get Yerdin at the ready. See if we can drag a couple of down a couple of them down individually. Wow, even attacking somebody with a two-handed weapon if he's blocking will stun you or, or damage Quen. I need to level Yerdin up, there's no doubt there. Let's cast that, get another Yerdin down. Might be effective to have um, a bomb. 
yeah, a blinding bomb at some interval in this fight might be handy. Whoa. Let's just pace myself. Try and get a more open space. Cast this. Igni will work over a radius. Yeah. That's alright. That's a good trade. I'm happy with that. My weapons are damaged. Crap, this isn't a good time. Look at the AoE effect on that guy with a double-handed weapon. He's dead at least. Let's cast Yerdon one more time. It would appear that I stunned him then, even without parrying. He's going for a heavy. Try and get a couple of them. Wear down this guy's stamina. Let's cast another one there. Draw them out. Draw them out. In with a heavy. Ooh, nice hit from him. Unpredictable as well. Let's keep Igni on. That's one of them dead. Oh, good hit. Tried to bl Wow! Relentless. Wow, this is relentless. I need to get some distance. Let's cast a burning one. Oh, this guy's dead. Alright, one guy in his own. Prone to Axie. Nice. Still think there's a couple of enemies here. I need to drag them out individually. I know that if you meditate, you respawn the enemy, so that's not an option for me. I'm just going to take one or two pieces of bread to regain a bit of vitality. If I respawn the enemies in, it's just going to cause even more uh, commotions. Now, I got an armorer's repair kit before. Does this work for weapons? No, it works for armor. Shit. Okay. Um, I suppose it makes sense. Uh, that's armor as well. Um, is my armor looking okay? Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, my weapons desperately need repairing though. I've got some other weapons though. They're not as good, but I can replace um, my current one if the repair rule gets too, too low. Okay, what durability are we actually on? 39, hmm, minus 4 in damage, it's still higher than the alternates though. Let's cast Quen, get some Axion as as it's um, bandits. Looks to be only two enemies left, a deserter down there, oh no, a lot of enemies left, way more than I initially thought. Can we drag... Okay, I was... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, thank God I could cancel it. I actually wanted the crossbow. I completely forgot that I had that quick. Alright, let's stun this guy. We can wail on this guy. Hopefully we can deplete his stamina. He's getting some good blocks in. Yeah, he had no chance there. He's completely boxed in. There's an enemy up there. If I shoot him, do I aggro him? It would appear that I do. What I want to do is aggro one or two of them at a time. Let's shoot this guy next. Can we shoot this guy? It keeps saying I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Recast Quen. Uh, we'll fit Yerdon in as soon as there's... Um, you know, they're quite close together. How do I get up there? The guy ran that way, so it made me think that I could get up that way. I guess I have to use that ladder. Okay, nice open area. Let's keep art available, because that might be better for an AoE effect. Come on, come on. Uh, it's handy, but I mean, it's only as handy as... Um, Axie. God, I'm getting destroyed in this corner. Good lord. Take some bread. Shot that guy.
the problem at hand is the move is too fast for me to evade. If I cash Yerd and at least then I've got a chance of dodging them. Whoa, like that. Okay, one guy left on his own. I've got Quen as a shield. Sugar. Forgot they could do that. Hey, are we effect on this guy? Yeah, I need to stop hitting twice. It's not going to do me any favours whatsoever. This is in a tough clear out. No question here. Oh, got him in the headshot. <laughs> Bit risky considering I don't have Quen equ equipped. Got him, finally. Thank the Lord. Another one with a two handed weapon. Great. Quen on. Wait for Yurden now. Roll past him, we need to get him on like a level playing field. Come on, come on. Oh, worked just. The worst thing that can happen to him is him getting slowed any more than he already has. Got him. Thank the Lord. Right. Oh, what is this? Can it be broken down? I don't know whether that means it can be. No, it can't be. Okay. Um, all right. We'll um, we'll loot the bodies and see if there's any keys about the person. Small blackjack. Need to drop down here. I don't think I'll take damage just from dropping down there. These here are lootable. Water. Alchemy paste, bread, water, vials, goat hide, and mod woman spirit. Oh, there's something there as well. A platter. A lot of this is relatively useless junk, but it's okay, I can sell that junk. The problem here is I don't know anywhere that I can sell things at. Obviously, we've got the general goods place, but you need to be quite specific with what you're selling in certain areas on this game. So... We really need to find a blacksmith because the general goods guy will not sell, uh, will not buy uh, weapons off me. Maybe he will, but it won't be for a decent price. Water and water. Can never need enough of that, particularly as it's got vitality plus 20 on it or something daft like that. Pork. Um, I'm sure... More guys died around here. I, I obviously looted them already. Nothing to loot here. Let's just go the whole circumference of this area before we drop down. Need to... Good lord. It's awkwardly placed. Calcium. A lot of materials there. This is good. This is really, really handy. Nothing to search here. Let's ignite these just because why not. Um, more things to find up here. No, nothing to loot there. Nothing to loot there. Couple of things here. Bread. More bread. Dwarven spirit. Water and alchemy paste. Okay. Head up the ladders. I need to go to a blacksmith as well to repair my um, weapons because it's battered and bruised to say the least. A lot of beer and stout and other such things. Vile thread. No key, though. Water, iron ore, water. Dwarven spirit. Is that an alcohol, maybe? Dwarven spirit? Like a really strong one? Okay, doesn't bode well. Is it on the bottom floor though? Never missed anything from here. Yeah, a couple of things. Pure silver. Dwarven spirit. And a vial. Uh, 
Ah, damn, eh? So much to loot. But this is a full playthrough, you know. Everyone's here to witness the whole thing, as well as myself. I'm here to monitor my own actions on this game and record them like a journal sort of thing. Uh, it's getting late in the day. It's probably appropriate that I light all these anyway. Old go tide, more go tides. Threads. I'm not even going to find like a piece of pe fifth essence. I don't think I've ever picked up any of that. Am I not going to find like a piece of paper at least that's sort of... Oh, weapon repair kit. Some gauntlets. Precision bolts. Crowns. Very handy. Um... So much stuff to loot here, it's mad. Gonna have a field day selling all of this. Can I not loot those or these? Nope. I can loot these though. Let's light all of these. Goat hide and more dwarven spirit. Got a feeling I'll have some materials to sell. Steel plates, that's nice. Um, anything else of use? Another door down here. Okay. Let's ignite that. Right, I'm slightly worried to... Um, the only keys over here? No. Okay. Looks like... Can we get in here? No, we can't get in there. Can we add it? Let's try it anyway. No, we can't. We definitely need a key. But we haven't found a key. Let me have a look up here. It's a big area to loot this. Key could be anywhere. I would have thought I'd be on a body of like the the leader though. Um, maybe. Might be wrong though. I don't know. The um, lighting these candles as well. It's not completely useless. It helps me indicate where I've looted and where I haven't. Put that back on. Right, doesn't look like we found it. Even the sim, oh, even the symbol on the map seems to have greyed out. Usually implies that we've got everything in the area. Let me go and check in case I just missed it. Um, just go and check the door, really. Where was it now? Was it further up? Must have been further up. Ignite, you fool! We might end up... Can we not jump up there? Oh, that's a shame. I would have thought you'd be able to do some quick jumping around the place. Keep going. Let's do a very quick weapon increase. Wow, look how, look how close we are to maxing out. Damage is plus one. It's not as good though, it weighs a ton as well. What about these? Heavy armor, that's interesting. Plus two, but it's heavier as well. Um, okay. Doesn't have the piercing defense on my current ones. I'd rather keep my one that I've, I've got right now, truth be told. Let's put the weapon repair kit on. Does any of this need doing? No, nope, none of that needs doing yet. And I've only just realised I've got a torch. I could have used it in the monster's cave. Wow, kicking myself. Can I not get in there? Really? Hmm, that's really annoying me. It makes me feel like I've missed something. But maybe I haven't. Maybe I have to return here on a mission or a quest or something of that nature. 
Right, before we finish up for the episode, it's time to sell some things. I need to head back. Um, and this symbol should have greyed out, so I need to wander back into that. I'll probably do that off camera, seeing as we've already ventured in there, unless I find something of uh, particular interest there. The symbol for the general goods thing has disappeared. This is not good at all. Um, they not have anything in Mulberrydale because the symbols usually are there. Right. We're going to have to do this the awkward way. I'm going to have to head back to White Orchard just for the sake of selling some things, seeing as we haven't... Um, Seeing as we haven't found anything new. Um, oh, loot things at the front door. Please be here. I mean, why it would be here, I don't know. Completely un... Wait. That's a house. That is a building. That is a door. There might be something in. No, I can't get in here either. Man. How frustrating. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. So, I'm going to make a, a change in plan, I think. Yeah. I think I'm definitely going to have to change my plan around a little bit. Right, guys. Just for this bit, I'm just going to edit out um, this segment. Nobody wants to watch me fast traveling back and forth. Because I'm only going to be heading back to Velen. I'm not going to be wandering anywhere. And if I did... It would be on camera. So um, I'm going to edit this bit out and I'll speak to you all in a bit. Ta-ta! And we're back. Um, I didn't completely tell the truth. When I got here, my OCD kicked in and I realised there were two locations that I hadn't found in White Orchard. Luckily they're right next to each other. The first one was just a sign of power, so I've just got that. No enemies guarding it. The second one looks a little bit more interesting. Let's see what we can do. That wasn't a good start. Oh, that wasn't a good start either. Come on. Not against level ones. Wow. Come on, come closer. I obviously need a break. Yeah. You ain't gonna be needing that head of yours. Oh, I could have talked to that guy, apparently. Well, I got that guy. That was beautiful. And finally, you. Oh. Three of them. That was beautiful. Okay. And we even found um, some loot. So, as you can see... Um, when I show you in a minute. Some more things to sell. God dang. The struggles of RPGs. Plenty of money though, that's nice. So as you can see, I haven't done the level up points so then I can show everyone. I didn't say you know I did I did say that I'd, I'd sort of wait. Now I've been using Yurden quite a bit, but I've also noticed that during one of the quests we could have used Delusion. We need a Delusion skill of level 1 completed. Now I think that means we need to completely do this. So we'll just do that now. And as you can see guys, the way it's, it's brought itself back up because of everything that I've just grabbed. But I've got rid of most things. I need to get rid of... Oh, and I crafted um, Cat, which allows me to see in the dark. I also crafted a new bomb and got some new oils um, for preparation in the future. Obviously we just got those materials and I need to get rid of most of these. I couldn't find anybody that would buy them off me so we'll have to wait another time. I'm going to end that episode there. I think that's been a great, great playthrough. Um, we're going to be heading back to Velen um, next episode because I think... Yes, we've done everything here. Okay, everything's done. We're going to be heading back to Velen. Um, and I've changed my mind on something as well. I said that I was going to work in proximity, but it's just not practical to have to keep going backwards and forwards. So we're going to head to here. Um, 
very soon. I'm going to be hitting these locations on the way there, rather than going across these ones because there's a lot here. But I'm definitely going to be covering these two and heading to wherever this is in the hopes that we will find a blacksmith, a general goods person, somebody that will buy all the crap off me, basically. Maybe even be able to get some customization and be able to vary our things. If we, if this is a port town or a city, we might be able to actually get our first go at um, customizing Geralt with his hair and um, clothes, visiting shops and stuff, and possibly even maybe I'll have a think about maybe having a game of Gwent or brawling in in some fights, that kind of thing, just to bring a bit more variety. We'll get back on track with some side missions and quests. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I will speak to you all on the next episode. Like, favorite, and subscribe. Goodbye.